One of the must-see attractions in the city of Tallahassee is its famed state capital. This impressive building, located in the heart of the city, is not only the seat of Florida's government, but also an important landmark with a rich history. The Tallahassee State Capitol was built in 1977, replacing the previous Capitol building that had stood for over 100 years. Designed by Edward Durrell Stone, a renowned architect who also designed the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., the building features a distinctive 22-story tower that dominates the city skyline. One of the most notable events in the history of the Tallahassee State Capitol was the dedication ceremony that took place when it first opened its doors. The ceremony was presided over by Governor Reuben Askew, who gave a memorable speech that emphasized the importance of the building belonging to the people of Florida. We dedicate it, not only here today, but every day as we work for the people who really own it, Governor Askew said. For those of us who work here are only tenants. We do not own the building. So I think we should dedicate this building to the owners. Governor Askew's words captured the spirit of democracy and public service that the Tallahassee State Capitol represents. The building is not just a symbol of government power, but a symbol of the people's power to hold their elected officials accountable and shape the policies that affect their lives. Today, visitors to the Tallahassee State Capitol can tour the building and learn about its history and significance. The building is also home to the Florida Historic Capitol Museum, which features exhibits on the history of Florida's government and the legislative process. So if you're visiting Tallahassee and want to experience a piece of Florida's history and democracy, be sure to add the Tallahassee State Capitol to your itinerary. And remember Governor Askew's words as you explore the building, it belongs to the people, and we are all responsible for its legacy.